just a couple of days away from the dark now and I've just received something really exciting in the post. Let's take a little look. It says, Lotus Biscoff Rocky Road for energy for your swim. Enjoy. Wow. And this has come from my sister and my nephews. Little note there. Oh, this looks delicious. Can you see that? I hope... Uh, I hope they have a chance to make it till uh, just before I do the swim, if I don't um, gobble a lot <laughs> beforehand. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, I love it when you get a little surprise in the post, especially an edible one. Brilliant. These will certainly help me uh, getting ready for the swim. Thanks, Jess. Now, I'm not sure if you can see that, but just there, that's only a flipping full moon. Brilliant. That's, uh, we're just two sleeps out from the dark 10K and that full moon means that on Saturday, two days later, we're gonna have spring tides, which will mean that we will get a slingshot down the river dart. So uh, along with the natural flow of the river, we'll also get a real good pull as the tide flushes out. That is great news and I can't wait. So after four hours of riding, I've made it here to the, to the check-in for the start of the dart. So I'm pleased to be able to do that this evening rather than having to get up even earlier tomorrow. But uh, on I go, let's go see what I pick up. I'm all checked in and chuffed to see that I've picked up my gold cap. It's my third time of doing the, uh, the swim, so I'm really chuffed to have that. Uh, the first twice I did it in a wetsuit and this time I'm definitely going skins because uh, despite planning to bring it, um, I just didn't pack it. I've come on my motorbike, there's not much space, I'm committed, I'm going in skins no matter what. On that front, I also haven't checked what the temperature is because what's that going to do? I'm going in anyway, so uh, I don't want to have a sleepless night worrying about if I'm going to be cold. Um, I'm absolutely sure my training is going to pull me through this because I've been in uh, plenty of different temperatures, fairly chilled, and um, I should be fine with this. It's kind of a false start. I've been a bit plagued with injury this year, so I ended up with golfer's elbow in this elbow earlier in the year and it's only just it's only just starting to disappear and it's taken absolutely ages I've had to totally further my stroke to make sure that I didn't put too much pressure on it um, and I've already had to drop out of one event this year which was the Jubilee 10k and I was gutted about that so I'm here I'm ready and I'm gonna have the, the uh, dart 10k so come on bring it on tomorrow cannot wait well, I'm up with the larks and it's time to go. Let's have this dark 10K. Um, this is the queue for the toilet. Can't even see the end of it. Anyway, time for breakfast. They did make it here and um, I'm gonna get a bit of uh, flapjack made by Tim and Sue and uh, some of this, um, or whatever it's called, rocky road that came through, brilliant. Let's, uh, let's get this in me and let's get swimming. Hello. Oh, look who I've managed to catch up with. Oh, hello. It's only Emma Swims. <laughs> it's me, it's me, yellow hat, leisurely. I'm gonna take it slowly. Um, I'm also going leisure, so, uh, but I'll have my gold hat on in a minute, but I just can't oh, yeah, face putting it on just yet. You? I know, how exciting. Anyway. I, I don't know what else you get for that, except for singled out. <laughs> Anyway, go for it. Good luck. Good Have luck. a brilliant time. Nervous anticipation at the start. Um, lots of lots of wetsuits around. Not many people in skins, but uh, I found at least one person. I know. In fact, I found two. One of my virtual friends, Jane, is also here in skins. So, uh, right, we're into it now. Cheers! Well, I made it, um, and that took about three hours, ten minutes, something like that. That's what I timed anyway. Um, but really great event. Really loved it. It was tough though. I had to dig in hard um, because I had to. I had to pull a bit more than I've had to on previous years. So could have done with a little bit more training. I know that. Um, but elbow injury and all the rest of it that prevented it. But I'm really chuffed with that. And I've got a mug which won't smash in my motorbike. Brilliant. Really tough that this is the end of um, end of swim snack that I've managed to find. Look at the size of this bad boy. That's going to keep us going for 15 minutes or so. Well, that's my Dart 10K finished for this year. 
uh, but it doesn't mean the finish of my outdoor swimming. Of course, I'll keep going on with that. I hope you've enjoyed this little journey on the Dark 10K with me and you've had a bit of a flavour of what it's like to, to uh, prepare in the last week towards an event. Um, if you have enjoyed it, please give us a like, drop me a comment, tell me which, um, which events you're going to be taking part in. And also, hit the subscribe button, it's that little picture of my face. It'd be great to have you along. See you next time.